it will become an icon of Chicago. You will pick up a postcard in years to come. And the Chicago Spire will be there. It will underwrite Chicago's name as the emotional home of the skyscraper. The site is unique. It is, uh, according to the history of the city, the place where Chicago, where the first settlers uh, arrived. The Chicago River arrives there is very probably the first place where settlers come. When this project came across our plan table, we thought this is going to be the biggest job that we'll probably ever see. The vision to create something like this is really best attributes to the work of a genius. What I personally see in Mr. Calatrava is his combining and being able to demonstrate how the skills of both engineering and architecture, form and sculpture and artistry can be woven into one single project. If uh, you look at my experience, uh, my previous experience, you see it's very much related to, uh, uh, to uh, complex uh, engineering buildings. After more than 25 years working in bridges or, or also in, in making big spans for uh, railway stations or doing a very complex project, it is to sublimate the technical to the service of aesthetical. I think it's something you can see very often in the nature, you know, in the shape of animals, or flowers, or birds, or whatever, in which you see from the problem uh, merge the solution, who also is the key of the beauty of it. It's a very beautiful uh, uh, combination between shape and statical behavior. All these things together, you know, uh, makes a, a kind of uh, ambience in which uh, the idea of the building gets embedded. I say sometimes I am an engineer and somebody who plays piano and helps you to, uh, to hear how well other people play piano. So I have to say we are uh, surrounded by virtuosos. <laughs> in building on, a, on what we would call in Europe a brownfield site is quite common in, in city cities. One of the issues of course is that you've got obstructions below ground and so this site is be expected to find obstructions so quite a lot of work is actually is exposing those obstructions to enable the caissons to be installed. First we're going to put in the 14 perimeter caissons and then before we install the 20 core rock caissons we're going to put in a steel sheeting copper dam that'll surround the, the core of the building. Once the, the sheeting's installed then we'll dig the ground down about 70 feet. We'll lower our equipment down into the lower grade and we'll work from that level to install the remaining 20 rock caissons. The other significant foundation effort is the, the basement walls themselves. And all the way around the site, there will be a perimeter wall that's installed from ground surface. Uh, about two sides of the, of the four sides are going to be slurry wall or diaphragm walling, as it's known in other parts of the world. And that will be uh, three feet wide, uh, 900 millimeters wide, and it will go down 75, 80 feet. And then along the west, because we're very concerned about the adjacent townhouses that are there, um, they're shallow, they have shallow foundations and they're relatively close to the wall that we are installing something called secant tile walls. These are even deeper, they're um, nearly four feet wide and we've dropped very large steel shapes down there to have an even stiffer wall along that surface, uh, again to limit settlement of those townhouses. Once that is all in, all the way around, we will, could have what could be termed a very large bathtub. Uh, we've, we've actually sealed off all the water now from the outside influences and we're now able to pump the water away and, and build a basement. You see the river is very close to the ground level and so if we just dug down to excavate, uh, water would fill the site. Once the rock caissons are done and um, when we do all the other work, the vertical members like the second and the soil wall, 
Then we'll finish up with the, the bell caissons. There's 98 bell caissons. And essentially the bell caissons will support the, the parking garage. The bell caissons are drilled to a, a shallower depth. They're drilled down about 80 feet to a very dense, silty clay material. And then once we drill the shaft down to that level and the bearing material's been approved, then we excavate or underream a bell. So it's a, a bell shape at the bottom that we underream. Once we get that all drilled, then we put the steel in and uh, we pour the concrete in the drive. It's relatively easy and, uh, to install these kind of caissons. And we're using those for all of the, of the parking garage. Let's put in the underground all the parking. Let's trade the whole area as a whole in a holistic vision. You know, the park, the Lakeshore Drive, the plaza in front of it, liberating an enormous amount of ground, you see, for, um, uh, for public, uh, um, public space and creating, I hope, one of the most attractive plazas in the city.